Got really passionate there, eh? <laughs> oh, so wait, you can't it up on that computer? Oh, yeah, okay, I'll transfer it over. Um. Oh, it's just, to actually be able to say it, like, to actually, yeah. It's but, it's, there. but it's still such an absurd concept. You're essentially saying that, oh, yeah, by the by, um, <laughs> we're going to be the AI, we're like ants, you know, and you, you make the, the careful analogy, which makes a lot of sense, ants to bees, of yeah. course, yeah. And, but then you, then you say, oh, by the by, it's not going to be able to prove, you're not going to be able to prove it, and also, you know, once AI is created in that fashion, we're never going to be able to talk to it because it's going to be so advanced that we'll never understand it. Yeah. Like, how, how do we go about proving that point? How do we go about... I have no idea. Well, that, that whole thing of just... That the AI is already here. Like, that's... You can't prove it. That the whole thing of the Turing test... Maybe we, should have, maybe we should come up with a quote or something, eh? Yeah. Like... Come up with a quote. We're trying to charge this here. Okay. <laughs> cool. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I think... No, I think... Is that mine? Uh, yes. So. No, well, because the whole, uh, I don't know, the whole thing of actually being the, the humans being the intelligence part of it, that you won't get any, I think it's that still but that how do we How do we prove this, man? We have to, I have no idea. We can't just keep saying it, we, like, <laughs> and, not, yeah, and yeah. not be able to prove it, like. No, we've got to apply like some this. scientific process to this. But then how do you go about proving something that's really Well, what could be a, a hypothesis? Like, what could be something which we could test? But it's like a string theory mode. Thing. Mm. It's like you can't prove it, but it's a cool idea. Well, it's a, the same, I, I feel like the proof is all around us, but it won't be recognized as such because it'll just be passed off. Yeah. It'll be the, like, you look at high minds now, like, you know, Facebook, obvious big example, Twitter, uh, Reddit, obvious example of a high mind, tons of people just all co working together. That TED video, you saw the TED video, didn't you, about um, all the skaters actually practicing their tricks and all of that and learning off that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's high mind stuff there, that's well, the like intelligence this, explosion, isn't it? Man, watching the Connections documentary again, like mm -hmm. the, the one from the 70s, it's just freaking amazing because it just goes to show that every single innovation is just merely connecting two ideas together. Awesome. And that all those were back like about they were about physical ideas really. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, let's put this piece together with this piece, and then you get this new innovation. Really wasn't there at that point. Yeah, but we're, but now it's not even it's not even it's no physical product. It's not even a software product. It's just freaking ideas. It's like. Yeah. Connect ideas together. It's, yeah, just connect this idea to this idea, and then hey, what do you get? Maybe that'll solve a problem somewhere. Yeah. Well, just the amount of innovation that's happened in the past five years that is just just mind blowing. Just yeah. absolutely mind blowing. But we, there's no, no one, proof there. There's no acknowledgement of the fact. And no one cares. No one cares. You you say to people on on the street like, oh my god, have you heard about the internet? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah, check my email on there. Like you know, look up YouTube maybe. If they know about YouTube, I'm sure they know. <laughs> Most people know about YouTube now, but five years ago, that's only when it came out. Yeah. And Katie Couric, did you watch that? No. The, she didn't know what the internet was in 94. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, God damn. They were all bitching about it, but... Nah. What well, how? That's the same as us now. Like, I'm sure an innovation will come out now and we'll be like, what, what's that? Yeah. Like, what's that? And like, remember when Twitter coming out? Like, like, remember when I started using Reddit? Now it's so ingrained in me. Yeah. Okay. It must be, it's, it's also, a, I think, a deep psychological yeah. human trait of like... It, it, it just goes to show that we're not individuals, that you control of our own actions, eh? No. <laughs> Technology comes along and yeah, just you, does everything. You're given new information and input, you just go with it, and that becomes yeah. you. You then use that and then put that somewhere else, and you're now a different person. Yeah. Sense. Also, what can we do with, um, to prove the point? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's something there. We're in a whole, like, just the whole hive hypothesis. Hive hypothesis, I like that. Well, so I think it's, it's, it's out there, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I think uh, articulating it better would be the only yeah. way to go about it. Because uh, there is actually, like, like, I don't think there's any way to prove it. No. We need to be a lot like Kurzweil and stuff, make the crazy predictions and see what people think. Maybe actually go full on with this whole, like, you know, hive. Actually say that hive mind is going to be the, the dominating thing. That yeah. We're only going to get more and more connectivity and more and more voices thinking is a unified thing. We have to get hivemind.com though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm, yeah. Can't do it only up. That's fun, man. Just when you look at the singularity, like, I hate that idea of the actual AI being in just the computer. Mm. Just that thing, it just doesn't work. Well, they never really describe it like that, but it's always implied. Yeah. I well, think. Even one I watched today, there was, a, was on um, Accelerating Future, was the one that was posted today, was about um, how there'll be no cracks, uh, there'll be no accidents post-singularity because the computer will be controlled everything. 
was this chick who was, um, she was like a professor of mathematics or something like that. She, she wasn't bad, but just her vision of AI, again, very limited, that like someone will come up with AI in the lab and then not connect it to the net and then there'll just be tons of AI spreading out there because software is easy to copy. It seems yeah. that everyone ignores the human aspect. Yeah. I mean, even with that, that's why I really want to read that Everclyde book because I yeah, think that yeah. guy kind of was on, the, come up with it. on a point there. Yeah. With the whole, the whole social media and Facebook and... Because I mean, that's, that's really what the internet was all about originally. It's like, mm -hmm. just let's try and connect pe people and ideas together. I get worried about Facebook there. I think that everyone, um, yeah, well, like, I mean, you know, being the future of hive mind and just that idea came up again. Oh. That was kind of a new one, saying that, you know, when everything is finally shared, that's when we'll finally have, you know, true AI and true, that's the end of humanity when the first baby is born into it. Yeah. And Facebook is, if you boil down their philosophy, to there. share everything. Yeah. As Except it's creating, what well, you're already seeing it creating a monoculture. Yeah, that's it. It's well, that, that's what, was, that's the whole idea about, you know, there is no, going to be no individuality. It's, yeah. it's far more efficient to act as a single hive where everyone thinks, is, well, not where everyone thinks the same, but where everyone operates on the same cultural platform, I guess. Yeah. Or at least all ideas can just be separated. There's no actual isolated groups. Mm. Like the intelligence would be greater in there. All the whole atheism thing and stuff again. Yeah. Any more business stuff going through. More links being shared. So I've got to start adding these. Stop adding these people who are just post links. Yeah. <laughs> post thoughts. Yeah. Well, that's really what Facebook's become now. Hey? They're just yeah. posting links. Still, I still feel because I'm being recorded. I still feel like I'm talking differently. Yeah, it's. That's why we do webcams. Yeah, no, I suppose it's just normal. You should grab a beer and just... Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Just ignore it. <laughs> I, mean, most, I don't think most, I think most people won't watch this because it's just boring. Yeah, I think so too. Even though the ideas are better. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hold like Kurzweil and um, Werner Binge and all those other big proponents like... Have you seen anyone yet that's actually been similar ideas to ours, like focusing more on the hive? Nope. Not at all. Did you get that intelligence, like, you know, explosion that we en enhance our own intelligence and go from there, but they're all very, uh, it's all about, like, genetic engineering. Because remember, it's magic. <laughs> what did that guy say? <laughs> the singularity song? Magic. Oh, yeah, that's right, the guy called yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. God, I hate that tool. <laughs> Emerging for, yeah, I was saying, well, why not just emerge from a large group of people? It's like, no. <laughs> Fuck you, you can't. He's like, like, like magic or something. Yeah. Said. It's like, no. Like, it's collective yeah. intelligence, you douche. Yeah. Should we look at Your research, you're the lead researcher at AI in Australia. Like, like, that's it. Just remove the human from it and look at what's being created. And then you go like, wow, that's AI. Look at Reddit and treat it as a single mind. Yeah. Remove the individuals and treat it as a single mind. Remove, look at 4chan and just treat it as a single mind. Like, it's not a hard concept to grasp. Yeah. We've, we've got the analogies down. Like, the other one I just thought of then that we didn't mention on the thing was the, the whole idea of, like, neurons in a brain. Yeah. Like, neurons, you know, they're necessary for a brain to operate, but at the same time, the neurons aren't a brain themselves. They're just one part that, you know, do tiny little functions yeah. interconnect together to form a brain. Yeah. And the neurons themselves have absolutely no fucking idea of any of the other neurons in the system, yeah. or any of the other, all the brain. They just, they just like, they, they get just stuff. do their thing. Stuff comes in, and they just put stuff out, and they have no idea how it's been created or how it works. They just do it that way. And just it. from their, from their opinion, if you're a neuron, you just get electrical impulses coming in. You yeah. send electrical impulses going out, and then everyone else does the same thing yeah. at a different sort of level of What's electrical this? impulse. It's the same thing as us. That. We get information coming in, we compute it, like yeah. our brains run through it, and then we output information. At a different frequency. At a different frequency. On so different levels. On different levels. So that's all it needs to be, that that's what the, the big brain looks like, because we get information coming in from all this stimuli, and then we produce yeah. information as well. People always forget the producing aspect. Very, very big. Yeah. I, think like, I feel like, I hate to be douchey, but I feel, you know, I feel like this is like a major... Yeah, I feel like it's a major thing as well, but just no one's it's, it's like a, it's like a thing. It's like a Charles Darwin moment. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's like a you know theory of evolution. Like oh my god, we're in a yeah. a brain. Yeah, we're, we're neurons in a brain, like collective intelligence <laughs> in a goddamn thing. But like yeah, 
Like, if I was back in the, you know, 1600s, you'd be getting, getting yeah. killed by the fucking church. Like, <laughs> it's just still, it seems so obvious, but we've just, it's hard, I don't know. Other people must be speaking we, about this. We can't be unique. No, yeah, no, but, whoa. Well, well, they aren't broadcasting enough. Well, we're not either. We're trying to. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what we should just keep on doing. Like, maybe just focus, like, crazy on getting out to all these people. Like, just go I crazy. We're probably going to write a book about it all. I think the blog actually is probably the best part to start. Let's play And just do every single topic about hive. Yeah. Collective intelligence. Really hive focus on the stuff. hive mind type hypothesis. Yeah. And keep that on hive 45. Yeah. Just so, and then just maybe actually like start harassing and start making actual like personal contact with it. Like, I always feel really weird still contacting people on like through the net, like sending them stuff saying, oh, hey, can you check this out? And blah, blah, blah. It feels still silly. Yeah, yeah, I feel silly and I feel like um, um, it just feels awkward. And I was like, I should just get over that and just. It's like when I sent them. a high fay eye to all those people, didn't get a single response. Yeah. It's just like, I like, got a few, like, uh, like Matt and people joined. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, but but like, everyone else was just. Like, yeah. I didn't even get a response. Like, not even a response to the messages saying, oh, cool. Or, no. It's oh, just spam stuff, you know. Yeah. But it's like gotta make the actual connection. Yeah. It's just like, oh man. <laughs> so we should build the hive mind where you just get your idea out there and it works. The thing yes. with that, like, you should probably submit it to Reddit in That's a proper way. Happen. <laughs> you can't build the hive mind. No, 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 but I mean, uh, like, systems, like, you know, post Reddit type thing. I bet a hive mind, because there are already hive minds out there, but have a, a forum or a, a forum for oh, yeah. the best, you know, example. Actually, use a, a better forum. I better read it, I better... Well, someone has to come with it. Oh. I think it's going to be, there has to be a systematic web of some sort. Connecting mm. ideas, really. Yeah. I don't see where you can go beyond the current concept of like, you know, post something and then threaded comments. I still think you can get a lot there, by, you know, the whole attention economy and stuff there, or even people actually associating more than one point, or having a scarcity and stuff. Make it more of a game. But is it, I still feel like there's a better way to actually do the whole, um, the user design type aspect. Yeah. Like surely, surely, um, you know, say, say Facebook's probably like the pinnacle of like, you know, hey, you just post anything you want, like a link, you post a video, yeah, yeah. you post an image, you post a comment, and then under that people can uh, reply, and you've got voting up, down, like say yeah. Reddit, and you've got threaded comments, but is that all that you can possibly do online? What about voice? What's, what about voice? Surely there's something video. to do with voice and video. Like yeah. why? We really we we need to be replicating perfectly the offline situation online. Well, why can't we just create a better way of sharing? Like kind of say the Reddit model, but with subreddits. Like I said it to you before, with the yeah. they you allow them to determine the algorithm with what actually gets shared. That everyone shares it to a specific place, and like you try and share it with other places, and then you just give them the the uh, algorithm. How many seconds they spend on it? How many users click like? How yeah, many yeah. users click this? And you can do that with voice as well, like based on what they speak about. So we get voice recognition. Yeah, the, you are, the yeah. X Prize for algorithms for yeah. digital sites. Yeah. And you just all you do is you get people to share stuff, just like Reddit. Like they put it in, and then instead of having subreddits, you just have different communities, and then you, they decide the algorithm on what actually gets shared. And that could be like a nice step getting up there. Because you wouldn't want any mods in that situation. No, no. Well, it's just that all whoever owns it. That's the community. all bottom up, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But well, that's what I mean. The the communities that are bottom up would work well. But then you might get some mods that are like you know more heavy and only allow something. Yeah. Need to. Yeah. Yeah. These are big ideas. It just it would be great to discuss it. It's becoming very insular. Yeah. How do we get them out? We tried getting them out. Yeah. We, we tried telling people like the whole hive mind idea, the whole... Well, even, even that, like the Singularity Conference, no one getting it. It's like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's where that's I thought... That's infuriating. <laughs> like, when we, when, we went there, when we went there, I was like, oh my god, we could like talk about this stuff and try and put it out there. That's why I really, really wanted to like, yeah. ask that question. Yeah. Like, I was nervous as fuck. I was, I was literally shaking because I was like, you know... This could fuck, be a thing, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't want to actually... These people are like, you know, head of AI research. Like, oh my god. Yeah. How am I going to ask this question? I was like, I just asked it, and then he's like, no, sorry, that's magic. And it's like, what? what? So, <laughs> and just shut it down, and then try to ask it again, and he just shut it down. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? What's this even? Yeah. I don't know anyone in the entire AI research realm, like, fucking even Ben Goetzel and all the top guys that everyone keeps talking about yeah. and propping up. 
None of them are talking about collective yeah. intelligence as an AI, yeah. as a platform for AI. They're all talking about, oh, I'm going to be hired by this Chinese research firm, and we're going to work together to build algorithms to make AI. Infuriating. It's like, dude, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Any of the top people like speaking about it, they, 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 they're, they're, they'd be on like, they'd be on like two hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh god, yeah. They'd have all the contacts and resources at it's their demand. Then, and it's, I, I think again, it's, it's because it's the new thing that Reddit and Facebook and. Twitter and 4chan and all the other big like you know social things they're all yeah. so new and no one like the you know the social revolution only just really started I, I think that's something we keep on forgetting is Facebook five and, years ago I guess yeah five years ago and even I guess, then yeah, it was like, these guys are in their late thirties that's it they they've been focusing everything just on the computer and the computer becoming smarter we're yeah. probably just at the beginning of the revolution of people thinking hey it's going to be more based socially rather yeah. than that. And that's where I think a lot of them are missing it, because no one ever focuses on the damn social side. Social side! Yeah. That's so how do we convey these points? Maybe just write it's, it. It's going to get there. I think we, we, we're in the right spot. We're, we're getting fame now. Like, you know, start just putting blogs out there about the social side of the singularity. Maybe say that. Maybe that could be a good term. Social side of the social singularity. singularity. The social singularity. Like, you that's know, that's the term. It's that's why I want to contact that guy. I it's couldn't just, find any email anywhere. Hey, yeah, we should see socialsingularity.com is free. I'm sure you have it. Well, let's check. Do you have it on the net? Uh, yeah. Let's sure. <laughs> socialsingularity.com <laughs> You just buy it and then try and get in contact with that guy. <laughs> so I think it seems the only way to get anywhere with your ideas in this kind of sector is to write a book. I fuck books. I'm going to do a blog. And yeah, books but, just seem... Yeah, but you think about it. Think about everyone, like... But think about the amount of books that get written. The only ones that actually, like, get, um, go well are the ones that are promoted by everyone. I think it's just we need to get known by other people. That's why I think yeah. blogging and stuff could be good, because we can start referencing others' ideas and get known by some of the top people using Twitter. I don't yes. like SocialSingularity.com.net and .org is taken. So I'm guessing it's that guy. Let's do it who is. Well, good. Yeah, if you look at like, uh, like, okay, Kurzweil, Vinge, name them all. <laughs> like, they've all got books. That's their, that's their claim to fame. That's yeah, yeah. Maybe a book would be good. Oh fuck it, let's write a book. We should get Jeff to do it as well. He's a very good writer. We'll get him to write it. We'll lie down on a couch with our scotch. <laughs> we should just do it. Hello. We should just do it. Let's we can get it out there. But the, the other thing is like well, we can't get it published though. No. Yeah, f fiction or non-fiction. Non-fiction. I mean, we could do the short story type, you know, Asimov style, but I think that'd be harder to get published. Yeah. I think that's why I like the uh, like uh, compiling the step by step of how it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So because that's the thing we're going to do. Remember, we're going to like pull up a OneNote thing and then just kind of or like a wiki type thing and just try and. Flesh it, flesh it out, like start off with steps and just try and turn them into sub steps and turn them into sub steps and even try and get <coughs> Why even, don't we do that? even try and get the community involved. Like, yeah, that's that's a, that was one of the original ideas of high AI. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, community involved and actually tell, ask them what they think. Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's just get high on one of the days. Actually, oh, I think I'm getting high is weird. It's just it's, it's a massive project. Like, this is not a small thing. Yeah, but it'd be worth it. It would be worth it. It'd be awesome. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Let's work out like a time and actually do it on there. See if Jeff wants to help. Then again, we had, I just thought of something that we haven't really thought about the end game of this. If let's say we get this idea out there and it becomes ubiquitous and mainstream, and everyone's like, yeah. "Oh yeah, of course we're in a hive mind and we're all individual neurons That's and a right. greater brain." How do you think people will react to that? <laughs> That's suicide. <laughs> yeah. We're, People have accepted, they come up with their own rationalizations. Yeah. And just be like, ah, uh, whatever. Of I guess I'm a part of a neuron. Kids will grow up thinking, well, of course I'm part of a high mind. I guess it'll just enhance yeah. scientific understanding, but not so much. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I don't think there'll be too much philosophical conundrums there. I mean, like, you know, the whole determinism thing, you know, came to that realization, like, you know, 11 or 12, that, hey, we're just physical processes, we can be predicted, therefore I have no free will, and yeah. I haven't gone around murdering people. But then no one cares. Yeah, well, no one cares. Well, see, look, you know, part of the reason no one understands it. Yeah. yeah. How many conversations and arguments do you have with people saying, there is no free will, and they're like, yeah, yes, there, yeah, there is. I'm choosing to move my arm up. Yeah. It's like, fuck you. It's like, you don't understand, you're so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm choosing to kick you in the balls till you vomit blood. 
Yeah. I didn't actually do that. <laughs> That's kind of the same thing with like, uh, I still don't think people understand we're animals. Nah. I still think, what? I still think humans think that they're better than animals and not in that same realm. Let's not focus on us, like, the, the individual rather than, well, like, yeah, humans are like some mythical creation rather than technology being the be all and end all. Meh. Like, we're so similar to monkeys. The fact that I have to fucking shave, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, I'm a monkey. Yeah. I'm a monkey that can speak and think yeah, a lot yeah. better than other monkeys. Or the other species of monkeys, not yeah. this <laughs> I wasn't like, yeah. yeah other, such a douche. I mean, like, monkey monkeys. Like, real monkeys. <laughs> like, apes yeah. and monkeys. We can obviously think better than them. But at the same time, the, what is it, 1% genetic difference? 2% yeah. genetic difference? Well, why not write a book? Hey, like, this is as good a time as any. We've got the ideas fresh in the head and everything. This is before everything starts getting hectic. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're pretty much. But if we write peaked. a controversial pe uh, controversial peak. If we yeah. write a controversial book, then people will pick it up and be like, well, "Oh my god." We just got to be able to get it out there because publishing is going to suck. You know um, what we should do is make we'll tons of copies. That, talk to that Evercloud dude. Talk to Curse while. Just send out like messages to everyone and like just uh, put the it for free online and maybe actually ship out the books to like you know all the big blogs like ship out to TechCrunch, ship it out to yeah. not TechCrunch. Anymore. All the other ones, they it'd cost a lot, but nice to get out there. Well, the other option is just make an ebook and just release it online. Yes, they don't want to read it though. That's why I think the book gives well. more. Yeah, credence yeah. has to be published. That's lame. Yeah, It'd be a lot. And getting published, it's hard, very hard, especially as you know, two Australian, three random young Australian dudes talking about their future predictions. Yeah, doesn't really inspire. <laughs> Yeah. Flying cars, man! Flying cars! Yeah. Oh my like, god! Oh shit, what the fuck are these guys smoking? <gasps> flying jet skis! <laughs> yeah. I love a flying jet ski. That would be good. We can just re release updated versions as opposed to. Yeah. Anyway, oh, shall that do? I've had enough. Catch you later.